Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Inky Kuchel. Today I'll be showing you how to put crinoline and make your peplum stand. I've done a video about how to cut this princess bustier and it's my recent video. So you can click on the link and watch. So here I'll be showing you how to put the crinoline and uh, fix your peplum to your upper bodies. So yeah, this is a crinoline. Okay, it's of different width. This is of one inch width. So we have others of two inches width, three inches width, two and a half inches width. It depends on uh, your choice. But I prefer to use this. But when you are using this type of crinoline, please do not draw. You can see while I'm drawing, drawing, drawing it, it's reducing its structure. So when you want to use your crinoline, when you want to fix it on your peplum, please do not draw it. Just place it as it is. So this is another type of crinoline. This is of the bigger one, but I prefer this one inch because it forms and stands in, in the peplum better. That's why I use this one inch crinoline. So if you measure it, you see that it's one inch width. And then you're going to just sew on the tip while you are placing it on your peplum. Another thing is that if you are using a lining to turn, you're going to place this crinoline on your lining. So imagine this is my the lace I'm using and this is the lining on top. So this side that is coffee, that is bending towards me, is the side, the side you're going to place is the flat side and the one that is bending towards you will be the one that is facing you i hope you understand what i'm trying to say you can see the side i placed the crinoline is bending towards me the crinoline must be bending towards you like it will have an hump hunch back so towards you while you are fixing it so that by the time you turn it with your lining it will relax with the fabric it will relax well with the fabric and it will lay well so just so on the tip like so so if you want to start um doing if you want to start placing your crinoline the first thing is to secure the hedge so you're going to wrap it up with your fabric you just cut a piece of fabric and wrap it up so that it will not um, injure someone after fixing it inside the um, fabric inside the peplum so you're going to place it first of all place your lining then after placing your lining place your crinoline like so so i hope you can see it a little because it has blended with the color of the of the fab of the lining so just place it the way you place your lining then stitch along with your lining like so so i'm trying to stitch along you can see the side i'm placing the crinoline is bending towards my side bending towards me just stitch by half an inch so i'm stitching with an half an inch so that half an inch i'm used to i'm using to stitch does not affect the the width of the crinoline the width still remains one inch by the time you turn it in inward so you don't worry so just stitch along with half an inch sewing allowance that your original sewing allowance on your on your fabric just stitch along with it like so so just continue your stitch and please don't forget to subscribe like and also share this video thank you so i have done i have come to an end of stitching my crinoline you can see at the extreme edge also when i finish the stitching of the crinoline i also wrap the edge with the fabric also if you look at the video very well so just normally turn your peplum with your lining like so on the edges so secure the edges like so so i'm trying to secure the end of my peplum so after you have done this cut any extra lining out trim it out so then you can i'm trying to secure the two edges this is the second edge i'm trying to turn it up with my sewing allowance of um almost half an inch so after you have done that then the next thing is to turn to the right side 
and um, when you turn to the right side you notice that it's not the the when you notice your peplum is not relaxed you can press it crinoline responds to low heat and when you press you can see that it will relax with your fabric well it will relax so go ahead and um, press it neatly and you are going to have a nice result so after pressing it the next thing is to secure the end like see like this just secure it secure your peplum secure everything inside like so and um, having done this so if you are not a beginner all this must not it shouldn't be new to you so just secure it like so you can see the wavy structure of the crinoline is forming already even while fixing while securing it so you can see so it depends on how you want it to form you can if you want it to stand more than this you can still put a a hard stay a hard interfacing so but i did not put interfacing in this one at all i only use the crinoline because i want it to be moderate so um go ahead and attach it to the main to the upper bodies so before you attach it you are going to fold the crinoline into four fold into two and notch i mean you are going to fold the peplum into four fold into two and notch fold into four and notch so that will be a guide for you while you want to fix your peplum on your upper bodies so i have my upper bodies underneath so i'm going to place my peplum right now on my upper bodies that means the right side of the peplum will be facing the right side of the upper bodies so i'll go ahead now and turn my pe peplum to the right side facing the right side so the right side will face the right side like so start from this edge get your office pin and pin from the zipper through to the side seam through to the center front to the side to the other side seam also and to the zipper allowance to the end so just pin it down you know use the notch to the notch will be a guide for you as you are pinning it down i'm pinning it down on each notch on each notch because i have notch on three places so place the next notch on the center front this is the center front i'm placing the second notch and the third notch will be on the on the side so this is the third notch that will be placed on the side so this is to make sure that while you are pleating on the upper bodies it is uniform so this is the last place you're going to pin down and while you have this already this will be a guide for you while you are pleating on your upper bodies it will make it to be uniform because this it, it's already you have already pinned it down uniformly so go ahead and attach your peplum to your upper bodies like so so i'm trying to pleat on the princess style line you know this is a princess bustier and so i have a princess style line there i'm pleating directly on the princess style line and you can go ahead and also pleat on the side seam it depends on how you want it this is this depends on on your choice so go ahead and please but just make sure the pleat is spread out uniformly so i'm going to go ahead and then um, pleat also on the side and i will repeat the process all along till i complete the process like so so i'll go ahead and spread out the pleat uniformly so and if you want your peplum to stand more you can also put a hard interfacing even with your crinoline but i want a moderate peplum that's why i'm using only the crinoline and don't forget the type of circle you cut also matters a lot 
so this is 720 degree and it does not have much pleat do you get what i'm trying to say but if you want it to be more fuller you are going to cut like three full circles that's 1080 degree circle and you are going to make sure it is it has enough um pleat and if you want it to have enough pleat that means you're going to cut more than your waist circumference i hope you get that so if you want a video on that this is the result of what i made and uh, this is how it is and it's looking beautiful so if you want a video on how to cut different types of circles i'm going to put it in the description box for your view thank you and i'll see you in the next video bye